It's been a while since I last covered my workspace, and a lot has changed. Since my last video, my wife and I have moved from a studio apartment to a one bedroom. One of the biggest upgrades with the new apartment, aside from the square footage, is that we have these large windows that look out into Rock Creek Park. Because the windows are facing south, we have great light throughout the day. As we tighten in on my actual workspace, you can see that it's kept pretty simple. We have an old desk from Ikea that survived the move from St. Louis to Washington, DC. For the chair, we decided to go with the Svelte chair from Article. It offered signature mid-century design with a light, flexible seat that hasn't been awful to sit at for a couple hours at a time. When it comes to my editing machine, I'm using the 2017 iMac with the 27-inch Retina 5K display. I've paired it with the standard Apple Bluetooth keyboard and the Logitech MX Anywhere 2S mouse. Other accessories connected to the computer include my hard drive of choice, the Western Digital 12TB MyBook Duo. One of the newest additions to my desk is the Rode NT USB mini microphone. The other main item connected to my computer right now is the HyperDrive 9 port USB hub. This is another new addition to my desk and one that I've been very happy with. If we back up a little, we can see that my iMac is sitting off the desk with a computer riser. This one is actually made by my good friend Adam Gooday, who owns and operates a wood shop here in DC. The rest of my desk stays covered with little things I need occasionally. Pens, pencils, notebooks, and more often than not, whatever camera I was using last. I try to keep my desk space as clutter-free as possible though. Next to the desk is a storage solution we picked up from Ikea, which also doubles as an end table. I keep extra drives, wires, and chargers here. It's also where I keep headphones and our Nintendo Switch Lite. On the other side of the desk, I keep an old chair and my Ona Brixton bag. Under the desk is my Canon MX922 printer. It's not my favorite printer, but it gets the job done. All in all, we needed a desk setup that worked well for editing photos and videos, but also complemented the living room when I'm finished working. So far, the setup has served us well, and we love how it all fits the room.